Hey YouTube, how's it going? Um, <laughs> I know I keep saying no more, and um, which is true, I haven't sent any new ones out to CGC, but <laughs> this just arrived, I know it's kind of funny. So this just arrived, I think it's um, the Alvaro Bueno or Martin Simmons from the last run that I sent for the James Tanyan the fourth signing. Um, so I think it's something is killing the children, or, um, Department of Truth? I'm not too sure. But anyways, we'll find out, and I actually think I have another one coming tomorrow. Um, yeah, I've been on a very bad streak recently. Well, I mean, that's not true, but I had a... I had a, um... I had two come back for the, um, especially for George Perez, RIP, but uh, uh, he didn't assign them, so it was signed by David Michelini, Um And then CGC didn't do the um, George Perez uh, label on those, but they've rectified that, so I've sent those in. But maybe these are those, I don't know. But um, And then in addition to that, there was a Something is Killing the Children the deco variant, I think it's number eight. Anyway, so I'm still waiting for them to get back to me on that. Basically on that one, I sent it in as a 9.8 blue. It came back signed, dual signed by Tinian and um, um, Werther Del Edra, and uh, it dropped to a 9.4, but the book looks exactly the same. So I think there was a grading mistake because the other Avengers 181 went in flawless, 9.8 blue. Well, not flawless, 9.8 9 blue, but it came back 9.4 because they ripped the page on um, on the side, probably probably when it was getting um, graded or crap. I don't know. Um, I do find the CBCS ones, when they go in for crap, it's, it's a little bit <coughs> more likely that they get damaged because I think it's harder to crack those cases. Um, anyways, I don't know, but um, I'm still waiting for CGC to get back to me. Anyways, let's see what these are. Oh, okay, sorry, Department of Truth. <coughs> wow, this is awesome. Simmons is great. Um, that's cool. I just saw a, oh god, I hope this keeps the grade. Um, super nervous. That is awesome though. Wow. My request to Martin Simmons was, can you draw the woman in red with a rose? And that's absolutely amazing. Like, this is, this is all drawn by him. And me, like, this, this, this is an amazing remark. Um, wow. That, I'm very happy with that. <laughs> you see the pencil marks and then he colored in red? That's cool. I like that. Some some remarks are just like quasi decent, like my El Vero Bueno one, which I was really excited to get because I saw the samples and they were like so good. And some people get wicked ones, and mine was just I don't know. I didn't really even know what it was. So, anyways, whatever. But here we go, moment of truth. Yes. Um, <clears throat> very happy with this. I wish. I wish Tinian and um, Simmons was doing a signing because I, I would love for them both to sign it. But unfortunately, there was it was either both on sign or else remark from Martin Simmons. Um, he's got a cool signature too. Anyways, right on. Um, I'm very happy with that. So. Cool. Um, which which is awesome because I ha now have. Uh, I should go get them. Yeah. I'll do that after. I'll pause the video and I'll go get my other ones and show you guys. But I have one more here because I want to know what grade I got. I think this is something that's killing the children. Number eleven, the um, Department of Truth homage version and uh this is one of the rare books i kind of had very very bad luck with uh the something is killing children rare books uh with the deco and the 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 Ruiz one um 
Number seven, I think it was. So, hey, cool. Octo. <laughs> so, maybe I was asking a bit too much. I, I saw, um, I saw one of the remarks on um, Facebook group, and um, it was a very nice Erica, and I was like, wow, that's awesome. I requested an Octo, Erica and Octo. And uh, maybe I was maybe I was asking for too much uh, for Erica and Octo. But anyway, is that cool? I'm happy with that Octo. Um, there's been people saying that Erica might die with the um, Cutter character now, so I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, that's not bad. I like that. It blends in. Uh, Simmons is awesome. Like this guy's this guy's rad. I'm I'm happy. I'm really happy with that. Uh, let me get rid of this glare here. My laptop screen is on. So the moment of truth. Um, this is again like I've had very bad luck with these some of these killing chill and rare ones and um, yes. Oh, um, awesome story about this one too. I won this in a waffle on Facebook. Uh, it was the first waffle I entered in the first one I won. So. That key is to stop while I'm ahead, because uh, statistically speaking, I'm going to lose every other one until I pay back into this. But anyways, um, I'm really happy with that. So I guess there we go. we got Erica. we got Octo on the bottom. Uh, blends in quite well. And he signed it in white right there. Hard to see almost because it blends in so well, but cool. Okay, I'm going to pause this video. I'm going to go get my other Department of Truth Peach Momoko ones just to show you guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, just wanted to show the other Department of Truth number one Peach Momoko. Um, kind of got the whole family now. So, here's the Virgin Sketch cover signed by Tinian. And Peach Momoko. That one's just cool. <laughs> um, this one's signed by Tinian. And this one's got a really cool spot. Uh, I'm too lazy to take them out of the bag, but this is um, sort of a spot foil, like these red parts are foil and the rest of it's just color, so. I think these ones, so this is the fourth printing, it's called the Virgin Red Foil Cover. Let me just pause, I'm going to get some stats on these because I forget. Okay, so back, so this one is a 400 print run. This one, the spot foil, is also a 400 print run. Black and white variant. This is a 250 print run. Usually the black and white ones are like the rarest, but then it's not always the case. This one was cool. I got this one, I think from Rabbit Comics, is it? This is a 400 print run. And the last but not least, this one is the beauty. So this one was signed by Martin Simmons and James Tinney IV. Um, this was done by Scott's Collectibles. It was a um, third party thing done by Daniel Scott and his team. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'd love to have Peach and Mocha sign all of these, but, or Simmons do a remark, because this remark's awesome. This one is super rare. Let me look this up. This one is a 100 print run, so that's a cool 9.8. Happy with that. And, um, I brought a few other ones. This is, this is just a regular 1A Tinian signing. Nothing special, but this, just so you guys can see... This is homaging, right? That's the Simmons of the Screaming Children. That's the original Department of Truth number one. 
And this one is probably the most exciting one I want to show you guys. Oh, I have one more Department of Truth out there from Mirka and and Dolfo. She's a pretty good artist. It's the um, Marilyn Monroe one. Uh, this one here, 75 print run, this is a full foil. It doesn't show up very well on video, but Simmons, Tinian. So I thought about getting the whole family of this prison cover as well, but there's just too many of them. Um, yeah, the biggest problem with collecting is you kind of run out of space. So anyways, um, that's kind of that. There's the Opto. Happy with that. And the woman in red with the rose. Nice touch. So, anyways, I got um, maybe a few more out there. The Chris Claremont ones. Um, excited for those. Hopefully, I get keep the 9.8 grades but um yeah anyways well thanks for watching guys um kind of a longer video but i just want to show my department of truth books um like i said I have one more coming back with another remark so i'll be sure to uh, share that when i get it awesome thanks for watching guys take care happy collecting